Hey everybody, Bill Shocker here. Welcome to another edition of the 5 Minute Motivator. Welcome to my home in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. And I'd like to actually ask you a question today. And I want you to think hard about the answer to this. Why do we let what we can't do keep us from doing the things that we can do? You know, I heard a very interesting story by Wayne Dyer uh, years ago when an individual came up to him and said, um, what do we do about our limitations? And Wayne Dyer's comment was, the only limitation that you really have is believing that you have limitations. Now, I'm certainly not suggesting that you should climb to the top of your um, uh, apartment building and uh, try to levitate to the apartment building next door. But the fact of the matter is, is that we have certain scripts and uh, certain programs that may in fact be keeping us from achieving the things that we really want. Look, I'm not talking about curing world hunger. I'm not talking about advancing world peace. I'm talking about making a better world by making a better you, by making a better us. We can do it. But the problem is, is that we've got these little world is flatisms that are kind of running through our mind that may be keeping us from accomplishing what we want to accomplish. And unfortunately, that means that we are heading headlong into the future by looking at the past. I'll give you an, an analogy of this. It's like trying to drive forward by looking in the rearview mirror. Can you do that? Well, you know, if you really have to, you can probably drive forward for a short distance by looking in the rearview mirror but I hope there isn't a sharp turn up ahead. And the fact of the matter is, is that there's a reason why the windshield is so big and the rearview mirror is tiny. We want to be able to look forward in kind of megaseps. But the repository of chronology, things that have already happened, it's small. It's there if we want it. So ladies and gentlemen, I, I would suggest that we think hard about that initial question. I, I have been thinking about this a lot over the past couple days. Why do we let what we can't do keep us from what we can do? What are those scripts that are going through our mind that's saying, I can't do that? I can't jump, jump off a 20-foot high dive. Okay. Can you jump off a five-foot low dive? I, I can't jump off a five-foot low dive. Okay. Can you jump off the side of the pool? I, I, I can't jump off the side of the pool. Well, what if you go into the water up to your waist and then just try to bounce off your feet and jump that way? There are ways, there are solutions that will allow us to do the things that we want to. But first and foremost is that we have got to get out of our own way. I've been dealing with some past scripts recently, and that's, what's, that's what actually is the motivating force behind this particular five-minute motivator. So I don't want you to think that I'm standing on a soapbox here and pontificating. I am not doing that by any stretch of the imagination. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, in the, I'm right in the trenches with each and every one of you. We are all the same here. And I notice that there are certain scripts that I have, certain uh, uh, programs that are running through my head that have to stop. So, if you remember yesterday's five-minute motivator, one of the things that I, would, uh, that I suggested for uh, dissipating anger was awareness. And boy, I'll tell you what, the, the more the time that I spend in meditation, the more I see this is true. If you really want to stop that script of things that you can't do, preventing you from doing the things that you can do, be aware. Be aware of the fact that that's occurring.
And there's an, an, an excellent possibility that that awareness is going to dissipate that feeling. Why are we letting what we can't do keep us from doing the things that we can't do? It's an interesting question. What's your answer? This is Bill Shaka thanking you for attending another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Talk soon. Bye-bye.